What is up guys? Joe Holland here. It has been a long time. It is a little bit before 5.30 in the morning and we got a load behind us. We're going up a pretty big hill right now. Guess who is with me on this trip? I'm going to let him tell you about this trip. The one and only Donnie. Hey, how's it going this morning guys? Uh, got up early this morning. Usually it's, it's like this with me. Either in hunting season time, or I know I have to be up at a certain hour. I'm always about two hours earlier than I should be, just for the excitement of it. And when you mention the North Main Woods to me, that's exciting, even at my age. So we're off, we're loaded down with a trailer load of white pine boards, which are going on this new cabin we're going to be building this fall. Uh, going to be a great, great experience. Uh, way to heck and gone up in the North Main Woods. And I've been coming up here for, well, not this particular area, but the North Main Woods for quite a few years. And every time I come, I get wicked excited. I just love it. So we're off and running. It's a foggy morning. Uh, pretty mild, really humid, 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 and hopefully we'll uh, get rid of some of this humidity as we get further north, uh, make it a lot easier on unloading this huge load of, of uh, boards that we have. So stay tuned, we'll be, uh, we'll be videotaping as we go. There you have it guys. If you're new to the channel, and this is one of your first episodes, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I don't ask for that, but maybe once a year, this is the one time I ask on this channel, because we have some really exciting stuff coming up based off of this trip. This is a pretty rare video that I'm shooting in the summer. Donnie and I are gonna build a wilderness cabin with, with our great friend Stevie in the North Main Woods, Zone 2. We're gonna be somewhere west of Portage Lake. Donnie's got it all planned out. It's gonna be, what is it, 24 by 28? No, no, no. No? It's gonna be 28 by 20 with an eight foot farmer's porch. All right. So. And for you people that don't know what a farmer's porch is, part of Maine lingo, but it's a porch the whole length of the building, which would be 28 feet long. It's going to extend out 8 feet and be roofed over. So it makes a great place to sit out there in a rocking chair or, or uh, stack your firewood for the winter and keep it under cover. So that's, that's the uh, gist of the building and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we get to it this September, which I think we will, and uh, maybe have it closed in by Snowfly, and uh, we, you know, hopefully plan on coming up here during the winter months and maybe doing a little ice fishing in this area. Never been fishing in this area before. <laughs> uh, oh, we'll be you doing hopefully a little bird hunting in October, November. And uh, a little, maybe a little shed hunting in uh, late December, January. So it's an exciting time for me, and I know it is for Joe and, and Steve also. Uh, so it, it's, it's just going to be great. Yeah, and you guys may have remember Stevie from being on the channel during ice fishing season. Stevie and I are longtime friends. Great guy. It's been his dream to have a camp or a cabin up in the North Main Woods. It's been my dream to have a cabin up in the North Main Woods. It's been Donnie's dream to have a cabin up in the North Main Woods. So this opportunity came up and we, we jumped on it. So Donnie and I have been milling lumber for a good, a good part of the summer trying to get ready for this. We're going to actually mill every single piece of wood that goes on this except for maybe the subfloor and we might use like an Advantech subfloor. But we're going to be milling all the dimensional lumber, the 2x4s, the 2x10s, the floor stringers, the rafters, uh, the walls, the jacks, the 
the um, all the everything you can imagine. Window headers, <laughs> uh, all the boards, uh, all the. We might we might not do the V match, right? We might. Well, we might not get to it this, yeah. this year, you know. But uh, that'll that'll happen down the down the road a bit. Yeah. Our goal and, this uh, year is to get it weather tight, meaning buttoned up, a little insulating done maybe, yeah. and uh, get a wood stove in there and probably some alternative heat like a propane uh, type wall heater or something of some such thing. Uh, because in the winter months when you come into a cold camp after being out all day, it mm. takes a while to warm up, you know, and uh, it would be nice to have something that would stay on low and just keep the chill off. So, yeah. uh, so if you guys can picture a trapper's cabin up in the middle of the North Main Woods, that's kind of what we're after. And who knows, Donnie and I both got a pretty long history of trapping. Once we get this cabin built, we might end up having to set some steel maybe one of these yeah, uh, falls or winters great. go up for like two months and set some steel and chase some fur around and but we definitely know we're going to be using it for snowmobiling probably as a base hub for ice fishing trips and if we get drawn for moose hunting again we'll we'll moose hunt out of it and i don't know but like i said if that's what you're interested in it's a good time to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything we also started another channel called JH Rough Cut where we're actually cutting the lumber and cutting the trees and stuff that might be boring to my average viewers that are used to a lot of the fun stuff on this video but stuff you might be interested to so I'll throw a link to that channel for you so you don't miss any of the, that stuff if you're interested in it and uh, expect some pretty good updates on this channel and come along with us on this trip thanks for coming along guys this is gonna this is pretty exciting for Donnie and I it's it's uh, 5 30 in the morning we're already this excited this is this is only the second time we've been to this location <laughs> the first time was last fall when we were up in this area moose hunting and uh, that's when uh, the, the uh, lease was purchased and uh, that's actually the only time we've been there we went there with Steve uh, <laughs> heaven knows how we got there we went on so many roads that uh, I have no clue how to get there. No, Donnie and I, neither one of us know how to get there. So so that being said, I forgot to tell you, we're stopping in Millinocket on the way north. We're, uh, what are we, about two and a half, three hours yeah, from Stevie's. Yeah, two and a half anyway. Yeah, so we got, we got a pretty good drive ahead of us. We're going to meet up, pick up Stevie, and Stevie's going to show us how to even get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's going to be something. So, uh, Joey, luckily he does this uh, computer stuff. I, I, uh, I refuse to do it. I don't know. Just stubbornness, I guess, on my part. But uh, he'll get it marked on his computer so we can get back here again. Either not, that or, not build on the same on somebody else's <laughs> land. Either that or I'll throw some breadcrumbs down. We'll, we'll find it one way or another. <laughs> Imagine that smart. That was like a Helgamite. I know, it was huge. Well, we're here at the dice hats. Uh, figured we'd stop, check tire pressure, and add some air, make sure we're good on air. And I was coming over to the air pump, which is all, you gotta have a credit card to run the air pump now. But check out this friggin' bug. Look at the size of this sun gun. You've got some wicked pinchers on the head of them eyeballs out on the side big big wings he's over three inches long but i have no idea what that is but i don't think i want to get my finger too close to them mandibles but if you guys know what that is let me know he's probably under this light pole for for the night and then stuck here in the morning but we should mess with him oh look at that he went after it Oh, he's going to bite it. No idea what that is. He don't like me.
How you doing, bud? What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Hey, we were talking on the way out. Yeah. You, know, you see these two sheds? Oh, yeah. We gotta get you one. I need one of those, yeah. too. This Look at the uniform. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get the blindfolds out for Donnie. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> How far till the checkpoint? Oh, it's just up here, maybe a mile. Oh, okay. Two, okay. Far. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, this, right. this road is in nice shape. Yeah, that the mill is bad. I knew it was going to be real bad through the mill. Well, yeah, that was This, this looks is, awesome. This should be pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Where do yeah. they mill there? They mill They got boards? those big logs. I, I know, I, they, but I didn't see anything sawed out. Right. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Well. All right. Well, we'll see you in a couple months. Did you see that little fox back there? No. I That's didn't why even... we stopped. Yeah. Oh, did you? No, yeah. I didn't even see it. There was, Donnie was going to give it a Dunsters, and then that guy rolled up on us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If it was a Donnie donut, he would have he would... eaten it right. <laughs> oh, he'd be right over there. Eat it right out of his hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you in a few minutes. All right. Give a hell. Because <laughs> we're on Rocky Brook Road. So we're somewhere up here. We have, Donnie and I have no idea where we're going. I haven't uh, been on this road in my life. We've seen the land and the camp that's there for five minutes about almost a year ago and we came in from a totally different direction so this is all uh, this is all new to us. We're pretty excited. Yeah. Great. They say this this way is a little easier than the way we went in the first time last fall. So. There's a snowmobile sign. Must be a snowmobile crossing right here, trail. Well, that's good. Probably heads into Portage. Yeah. Probably. I'm sure you can get to it. Portage. Can't get there from here. Well, you might be able to on this one. What's this rig in here? Something pond trail. Oh, that's the car pond trail. There you go. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that must be how you get into the car. Wow. Sweet. That's got to be the snowmobile trail then, huh? Yeah. Well, they've done some work Boy, here. There is some serious uh, ditch in here. Yeah. Nice road. One wow. of the nicer dirt road dirt roads I've ever been on. Yeah. Better than some tar roads I've been on. That's the truth. Way better than the Golden Road so far. I'm starting to get excited, Donnie. This is, you know, that new car smell they talk about. I'm, I'm getting that new camp smell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can smell that uh, fine lumber. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be a good smell. Yeah. Hill for us, they probably just dug it out of the ditch and hauled it over there. Tell you what, if the gravel looks anything like this. Yeah, that's nice stuff. Yeah. Real nice stuff. There goes Some, a turkey up through the woods. More wildlife. So far we've seen a grouse, a turkey, and a fox before we even got to the checkpoint. Pretty Not cool. Real. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was easy. She's really nice. Oh yeah, super. Yeah. They're both super pleasant. Yeah, real nice. The more north helpful. you go, the more pleasant, and helpful people yeah. are. I think. Yeah. But tell the folks where we are, Donnie. We're at a checkpoint. Yeah, we're at. We came into Portage and uh, followed this dirt road in, and and uh, this is the North Main Woods checkpoint to get into the North Main Woods. So you have to check in here, and if you are uh, 70 and older, such as I am, it doesn't... See ya, fellas. See ya. It doesn't cost a nickel to get in here. No. But uh, Joey is a leaseholder, so he, he also gets a free pass. So this, the North Main Woods is a conglomerate of several different monstrous landowners that own the woods up here. And they, they, it's used for commercial use with for commercial logging and forestry practices and they keep the roads up and they they keep the roads in real good shape and that's where the money goes to is for the roads and also the employees that 
man the gates. So there's access points all over it. And if you're not a landowner or over 80 or under 18, there's a fee to use the roads or to sleep over in the North Main Woods. So pretty good. It's worth every penny, I promise you that. Yeah, and yeah, did you say if they camp out in here, there's an extra fee for camping yeah. and also a fee for road use. So. Yeah, and there's a pile of campgrounds all over the North Main Woods. I mean, literally hundreds of them of campsites, I should say, like next to rivers, next to brooks, on top of mountains. That They also keep those up to and man those. So that's where the money goes. So it's worth it. And, you know, a good, a good many of us in Maine spend a lot of time in October bird hunting up here in the North Main Woods. And when I say bird hunting, it's for grouse or partridge, like we just saw. Donnie, I thought he said first left. Yeah, he said first left after we go 20 miles. <laughs> we don't know what first left meant. No. First we're, left We've meant. been by two lefts already. So uh, we're about at the 20 mile marker, I think. Donnie and I are gonna be so lost coming out of here. We're throwing, <laughs> we're throwing breadcrumbs out the window from them dumpsters. So we'll be able to follow our way home. Right. <laughs> This looks like a pretty good pit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you got a horse fly. Yeah, dive well, you, he, you play that game, he loves me, <laughs> he loves me not. <laughs> uh, well, that, that looks like you could dig into that. Oh, yeah. Well, Stevie, give us the update. How, are, we get, are we there yet? We're getting close. <laughs> We got uh, probably another mile on this road, and then we take a right, and I think it's about eight miles. And then we turn right again, and we're about a mile or less to the camp. Get a deer track, Joe? Yeah, pretty big size deer. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that was a whopper. <laughs> I think it peed in the road right Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. Spelled its name and everything. <laughs> <laughs> look how heavy that load is. It's pushing the gravel down. Yeah. We had a little trouble after we got off the interstate. Those hills were hard. When I had that little smaller trailer, I was... It's not a comfortable, easy, mindless drive. Like no, you're gonna right. Be, yeah, when you got all that weight pushing. You don't want to be on the brake coming down the hill. Yeah. Because you, well, you want a little momentum to get up that huge hill on the other side. Yeah. But it, yeah, you don't want to go 80 no, either. So no. it's like. Yeah, I had no trailer brakes on that one either. So. Yeah. I was puckered, white knuckled. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it wow. was pushing us. You're going to need a beer when we get there. <laughs> right. <laughs> First beer of his life. Yeah. <laughs> Let's roll. Yeah. Yeah. We're there yet? We're there. Do you want to take a walk down, see how you wanna Yeah. How you wanna get in there? A friggin' yet. What do you recommend? Backing in or driving in? I had enough room to drive in and just pull right up alongside the camp and then when we were done unloading I just backed right up into that spot there but I think you might be too long for that I'm not sure freaking rain <laughs> we were doing this last time we were here wasn't it yeah boost <laughs> yeah. track is it yeah so right, on. Now, right in our yard yeah, saw one. And then you could do whatever. Yeah, I don't think I could get turned around. I don't. I think it's too long. Yeah, the trailer's longer and your truck's longer too. Yeah. Boy, bump a crop of horse flies this year, huh? Yeah. Smokes. So, so are you thinking the camp right here? That's what I'm thinking. 
Donnie? Or a little higher. Oh, Donnie's got his compass out. <laughs> it's acting crazy here. <laughs> Well, guys, we're uh, we're gonna figure out where we're gonna put this camp on this piece of property. It shows north that way. South that way. Does that sound right or no? Stevie's got a question mark going. Is that compass any good? I got another one in my truck, probably. Yeah, let's check yours, but. In that camp, it's kind of facing south. Well, we're figuring out where we're going to put it. We had to get um, the dumbest thing in the world. We had to get a leach field, even though we got an outhouse <laughs> for a sink that we might not even ever use. We might just have a bucket. But we got to put a leach field in, so we had to get a site plan. Stevie did all the permits, the paperwork, all the foolishness. Donnie and I would have lost it dealing with that, so he's very patient. So that's where we got to put the leach field. So we're thinking, we're not going to be pumping obviously. So we're thinking about putting the camp a little higher and a little bit to the side of that leach field so we can run it right out to it. Um, so it's either going to go like this direction or this direction, but it's going to be higher than where that leach field is and next to it. This is the planning part guys. This is the fun part. Donnie's got a lot more experience than Stevie and I combined. So we're going to, we're gonna definitely be leaning on him for this type of stuff. I'm just a dumb plumber, Donnie. I'm, <laughs> I'm just a plumb dumber. Dumb <laughs> I got a pretty dumb crew. I mean, it, Donnie, we don't have to be right next to that leach field, right? Oh, we could no. we could pipe to it. Pipe okay. Yeah, so we could put put it anywhere up here that you want. You know, I'm just thinking these less big trees to cut right here. Yeah. Does it matter to you on the driveway? No. Nope. I'm kind of liking it. I like, I like being on high ground. I don't like where that other camp is mm. in a hole. No, yeah. that's, that's why it's rotting out and that's why it's... Sinking. That's why it's coming down. Yeah. It wasn't always like that. No. You can tell even when they built that porch, they ang the stairs angled this way. Oh, now. really? Like it, I'm sure they built it flat when they put them on. Mm. So what we'd have to do is we're going to have to... We're going to have to clear these trees and then we're going to have to get rid of the stumps and put some gravel down. Yeah. And it might be a pretty... I'm thinking one side of the camp right here going that way that's the edge yeah okay and then lengthwise is this way Length, the, the porch will be on that the side. porch is on that side the length the length is this way porch is on this side porch is on beautiful side. like the front right or is it on the side be the front. yeah the front beautiful okay. yeah so for this load of lumber that we got to take off um i'm almost thinking about just backing into here and Stacking the lumber here somewhere flat, like right there, even or here. Yeah. Donnie, is that is that agreeable? Is stack stack the lumber like over here or here? We don't want to stack it where we got to get gravel. In. Guys, this is pretty cool being able to pick a spot to build up here in the wilderness. So the camp's going down there. Well, yeah, now, I'm, now that I'm up here, I'm thinking it might be a little better up here. All right, I'm going to see if I got my rain jacket. I'm pretty sure I packed it last night. Of course, she's going to rain on us, but hey. It's no big deal. I ain't going to melt. I know I'm sweet, but I ain't that sweet. Here's a jacket. All right, 
we're pretty steep here, so I chopped the tire. Just enough and let to go with us behind it. And we're gonna do a stack of wood, stack of boards up here. Huh? Is that too far apart or is it good? Well, we gotta... I think our first bunch are all eight footers. Oh, yeah. Aren't they? Yes, yeah, so they yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. Too bad we've got all the eight the top. We could stagger them. Uh, or stagger them or no? Yes, we could. I got all kinds of spare clothes up there on ammo stack. Thank you, though. Good with turkey? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, anything. Turkey's good by both of them. You want mayo? No, thanks. I'll have some mayo, Donnie. Well, we got here just in time for the rain, and we're we're unloading. We got pretty good stack started there, and uh, probably triple that inside here. And we're stopping for lunch right now because Donnie and I've been on the road for seven hours, and Stevie for at least four, yeah, probably four. So we're gonna get we're gonna drive some lunch right into us. Found a couple of orange Gatorades and. Then we're gonna get back at it and try to get wet. That's no problem getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> wet as summer I can remember. <laughs> Only rained twice this summer in Maine. The first one was for 40 days, the second was for 30. 
And that's pretty much the whole summer. But it's been the craziest wet, wettest year. You'll sleep good sleeping in this thing tonight, if you do. We, yeah. We can set your tent up in here. I'll get up and pee every, every hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll pitch a tent. I think I'll sleep right in here. Yeah. I brought a bunch of squares from uh, Bertha on Campobello made these. And I think you've had some. I did. Joey's some. had some, I know. Oh yeah. And I've had too many. <laughs> so so Stevie, you dip in and I'll lead off. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Bertha. Yeah, Bertha gets all the credit. She makes lovely squares. The best. Oh man, it feels heavy. Bring it out in the light so you guys can see it. This one's mint chocolate. Thank you, Campobello Bertha. Mm -hmm. That's right. good. That's edible. That's edible. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, we got the trailer fully unloaded. That was a beast. It was way more boards than I remembered loading. I'll show you guys the stacks. That one's over six foot tall. That one's four and a half, five foot tall. So that was a lot of lumber and a lot of weight all in. I felt it the whole, the whole way. So we got that unloaded. We started taking a few trees down. Um, and right now we're gonna go try to figure out a good place where we can get some gravel to put down for the base and the foundation. And also um, we wanna see if we can find the, the closest one. So when we bring a machine up, it'll be a lot quicker. So that's the plan right now. We're all gonna jump in with Stevie, I think. And, uh, and he's got a couple spots mapped out that we're going to go take a look at. And then we're going to contact the, the logging company, the landowners, and see if we could purchase some of that gravel to, to do our driveway and where we need to for the foundation. So what do you think, Donnie? It's quite a stack of yeah. boards, huh? Yeah, the, the weather didn't really cooperate too well with us this afternoon. No. Not loading, but got a little damp. Got her done, though, didn't got we? Got her done. Yeah. So that's the plan guys. I feel pretty good about, about it so far. Um, there's a lot more trees to take down than I was expecting. So I gotta kind of rethink that process and how much we, Donnie and I wanna take down. There, some of them are pretty tricky and if we're gonna have a machine in here anyway, I'm just thinking maybe, maybe we'd be smart, be safer and do it when we get the machine in here. Yeah, it's uh. Beautiful day in the North Main Woods. Haven't seen anybody yet. Thought I heard one truck go by, but we did have one truck go by. Yeah, you okay? Yeah, I saw yeah, one. Yeah, great, great day so far. I'm pumped. We made it up with no problems. I was really nervous we we're gonna lose an axle or a tire or both or I don't know. That's a lot of weight. The truck was she was she was squatting pretty high. She made it. So we'll just put a little bit more weight on next time, see how much we can haul. <laughs> Keep adding a little bit till it breaks. <laughs> yeah, that's the main way. <laughs> She's probably gonna do the dance to it. There wasn't the grass on the right. On the right. It's not very big. Is it just one? Oh yeah. Oh no, there's more chirping. I heard some more chirping. Yeah. yeah. Look at how pretty they are. Oh, third one, buddy. I like when they do the run. Watch this. Oh, another one's moving right here. The run is hilarious to me. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Poor. She's, she must have because she's starting to. Well, oh, another one. Bigger one. Yeah. They got like a little tuft over their beak when they got like, age, I guess. Yeah. That's a man. Oh, yeah. That's got to be the last one. Yeah. Let's climb the tree.
You see it? Yeah, he's looking at us. Oh yeah, that's got to be a Martin. It is a Martin. It's dark. It looks almost black though. Summer coat on it. Guys, there's a pine Martin. Yeah, there he is. It's a Martin for sure. Right in that birch tree. Well, that was pretty cool, guys. I saw Pine Martin. So that answers the question Donnie and I had on the ride up if there was any fur in the area. The three of us are still in the truck. We're, uh, we're looking for some potential gravel pits that the loggers use to make the roads up here and improve the roads and when they do ditching or put culverts in and then we're going to see if we're if we can buy some of that gravel from the log company bring an excavator up and put our own road in and get some underneath the camp so that's what we're doing now we're going for a drive we got to see those six baby grouse and the mother grouse and we got to see that pine martin and uh we saw a red tail hawk which is they're awful hard on the grouse so you don't like seeing them around them baby grouse. We did see one of them. Anything else we see? Oh. Well, yeah, we saw the fox on the way in. Stevie saw a deer on the way in. We haven't seen any moose yet, but we got our eyes peeled. So stick around. You might get to see a moose. Donnie and I, Stevie's going to take off here pretty soon. We want to try to get him on the road before he has to ride on uh, Route 11. We want to get him on that before the dark because that's a wicked moose crossing road. And then Donnie and I might go for a moose cruise tonight. See if we can find anything. So far, we're we're really liking this area with the ridges. There's a ton of ridges that is new to Stevie and I in the North Main Woods. The areas we hunted were more green growth and swamp, and not as much up and down as these. These kind of don't even look like areas of Maine that we've been. Where you can see like the, like big ridges up there. They got some green growth on top and saddles and stuff. So we're looking forward to exploring those and learning how to deer hunt them and see if there's some deer in this area. And Donnie's looking forward to hunting the valleys underneath those ridges. <laughs> Wait for you to drive them down the hill. He's going to send us up and we're going to send the deer down. And there'll be nobody happier than Stevie and I when Donnie plugs one of them big bucks. Oh. We put them up on the wall of the new camp. Say hello to the women for me. Yes, I will. How do you, what's this? Oh, it's, it's a little tricky. This this thing gets pushed in, so, oh, I see. so you can't slam it. You just gotta. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll get it. Good enough. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. We had the successful day. A fun day. Yeah. So. Well, it'll be fun learning this area. You yeah. Know, to scout it out and just see what. Up. I know we're gonna need the light, do we? Oh yeah. That's the old camp. Nice, nice outbuilding. There. Yeah. Birds living in here? What do you see a bird? See all this? Oh, this. there's a mouse shit. Oh my god, look at all the mouse shit. Yeah, mouse has been chewing. Probably living up in that roof system. Look at all the mouse shit. Yeah, they've been either that or a squirrel. Yeah. Could be a squirrel.
A lot of booze left up there. Yeah. Probably a lot of memories made here. Yeah. But they ain't ours. Yeah, by all the by all the names that are on the on that wall. I'm sure there's a lot of history to it. Yeah. We got some white perch. Came out of Damascotta Lake. And uh, a friend of mine caught them. He brought me over a whole slug of them. Holy mackerel. Oh, a squirrel or something in the house over here. He came out. I can hear him chirping. I also got a brook trout. Oh, there you go. From uh, Rainsley Lake here. Nice. I filleted up. It's a nice little trapper's cabin. She's sitting down in a hole and kind of sinking too. Imagine the snow builds up pretty high on the sides of it and chinked with some kind of insulation, I guess, or spray foam. And she's coming apart. She's in some dire need of repair and it's just not worth it to us to fix this one. We're going to build another one, start from scratch, build our own memories and, and build a whole new trapping cabin for ourselves. How are those looking? They look good. There's the brook trout. You can eat that trout. I'd take perch over trout any oh, day. Oh yeah, I would too, but I thought I'd just throw it in as a... Yeah, you gotta have something for the fox. Probably ought to cook all this up, hadn't I? Peace. Too unless, much? I don't know, unless you're going to eat it tomorrow. Well, I hadn't planned on it. Looking good, Donnie. Well, too bad Stevie couldn't stay. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't want to ride that road in the nighttime. No. No. I wish we could have come up tomorrow, but it didn't work out. Yeah. I mean, yesterday. Well, we'll get. I got a quart of strawberries and cut them up, mashed them up. We got strawberry shortcakes up here. Made some biscuits yesterday. Before I came up, and uh, well, let's we got a little treat. I haven't had strawberry shortcake in a while. Me neither. It looks good. So, if we can cut through the biscuits, I think we'll be <laughs> all right. Gonna need a sharper knife. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping the juice would soften them up. It did. It's great. Well, I brought two beers with me. In the process of drinking one, and I'll be lugging the next one home. There you go. I'm excited to show people at home your tent for tonight. Yeah, my sleeping quarters are really 
really exquisite. Mm -hmm. He's all set up for the night. Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing any reading. You got a dry tent. I can tell you. Hey, what a what a house. Right? Yeah, this is great. We had one stud in it before, now we got another stud in it. <laughs> well folks, that's gonna do it for tonight. Pretty awesome day. Made it up here no problems. Got everything unloaded, got to spend some time with Stevie and really, really happy for today. Uh, it's just about dark. It's gonna get dark pretty quick here. I'm going to crawl into the old sack and do a little reading and call it a night. We'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks for tuning in. Good morning, good morning guys. We, as you can see, we are on the road again. 6.30 in the morning. Yep. We've been on the road since about 6. I got up around 4 and it just has been pouring the whole day and morning. Rained super, super hard last night. I'm sure it sounded pretty loud to you, Donnie. Oh that my gosh, I camper. slept in this uh, trailer, this closed-in trailer and... <laughs> sounded like a hurricane out there <laughs> <clears throat> yeah it was it was really loud it's a good thing i'm a little bit deaf and and uh, didn't get the full effect of it until i put the hearing aids in this morning and holy god it was wild yeah so yeah i i slept in the truck i got a bed in the back there i don't know if you guys can see it and same thing you know i could hear it all night I had a couple of skeeters in there when I went to bed and I killed as many as I could could get with a light. And then I woke up this morning and there was two I squished into the ceiling and they were right full of blood. So I'm guessing I know whose blood that was. But I turned this thing on because we just saw a moose and I wish we could have shown it to you guys, but he, he ran across that road so quick and down over an embankment, didn't even have time to grab the camera. But it was pretty cool seeing a moose this morning. And, I'm sure they were out during the rain earlier today too. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it looks like it might might clear off in the, towards the east here. It looks a little brighter right now, but it's still sprinkling. So, yeah, we'll see how we make out the roads that we were on. One, you know, if the rain keeps up, it's gonna really wash the road, but this road we're on right now is pretty good. Well, the plan is we're going to try to find our way out of the woods today. We followed Stevie in, so we didn't pay super close attention to how we got in here, but we're going to time it, see how long it takes to get out to Tower Road, and if we can even make it out to the Tower Road. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to work our way downstate again, back home, and Donnie and I are going to go, we'll work the mill real hard this week in the mornings. We got a lot of milling to do of, of hemlock for dimensional lumber. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a feat getting that up here. You know, we had a wicked big load of of boards this time, and uh, 
and that hemlock really weighs up more than the pine. So, and it's all dimensional stuff, so that's that's going to be really heavy to move. But uh, we got a couple heavy-duty trailers the, that we uh, can line up, and and uh, so that's going to be a big help. So we'll see how that goes. Yep. So stay tuned. We're gonna we're gonna probably stop in Portage Lake area and see how the coffee tastes, and maybe see if they got something to eat around there. We Donnie brought up a slug of food to eat. But this morning it was just way too too wet and rainy to mess wow, around. Look at that! Looks like a wow. mud mud pit running yeah, down geez. through there. A lot of lot of topsoil going there. Yeah, quite a runoff going there. So that's the story, guys. Stay tuned. Might see something good coming up. lets up and it is torrential really really something roads are getting a little slick a lot of mud in this gravel so. we were gonna cut some trees today and start to clear some more of that lot but I'm glad we didn't oh man yeah. that bit. very uncomfortable yeah you know damn well I've been dripping down into your butt track right <laughs> <laughs> We'll be bringing some mud home, Donnie. We'll be bringing some mud home. Yeah. Wow. What a mess. Well, we're we made it out to the town of Portage, Portage Lake. <laughs> we tried Portage. to. They told us to go eat at the Dean's Motor Lodge, but 